All right, what's up, everybody? Yeah, the introduction, like the generic videos. So, today we're going to be discussing why the setting for Assassin's Creed Kingdom, or the Vikings game, is going to be set in the Mediterranean. So, with that said, there's going to be a few points that I'm going to explain as to support this theory, and a couple of things to, I guess, dispunk this theory, but or debunk, I said dispunk, oh my god. But I personally think it's going to be set in the Mediterranean, for the reasons I'm about to explain. Now, the first reason is going to be... Because of the ancient trilogy, we were told we were going to be getting Rome um, as the next game because there's the Greece setting and there's the Egypt setting. And like Bayek says, Egypt has fallen, Greece too, Rome's next, or something like that in Assassin's Creed Origins. So what this means to fans is that there's going to be a Rome game. But it's been confirmed by Kotaku that there is going to be a... Vikings game, which means it's probably not going to be set in Rome. Now, the argument that I have for the Mediterranean setting has to deal with being in the Mediterranean. Now, if you don't know what the Mediterranean is, it's the sea that is above Egypt and below Greece, which means that both of those are connected by the Mediterranean Sea. And this game... I think would also be in the Mediterranean Sea to kind of give a tie-in to the locations of Egypt and Greece. It's not going to be like an ancient game because it's the Vikings, but it's going to have that same type of area, I feel like, even though it's going to be in the future. So, the support I basically have for this theory is from Bjorn Ironside, which, I think he's a character in, like, some TV shows or whatever, like, Vikings or whatever. I don't keep up with that show. i just seen The Last Kingdom. That's the only show I've seen. <laughs> so, basically, Bjorn was the son of Ragnar. Ra Ragnar, I don't know. They pronounce it differently. Um, who was a king of Sweden. And he basically ends up becoming the king of Sweden. Uh, this is all according to the knowledge I've accumulated. I'm not positive on it. But basically, he ends up going to the Mediterranean. Um, and there's a large Viking raid there in between 859 and 861. Where he was supposedly involved. And after raiding the Iberian coast and fighting through Gibral Gibraltar. Geez, which is basically the southern tip of Spain and the northern tip of Morocco. He end up he ended up pillaging the south of France where he stayed over winter and then he landed in Italy where they captured the city of Pisa, which you know the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And then he had those victories in Sicily and North Africa. They lost forty ships to a storm. Then they returned to Gibraltar into the coast of Medi Medina Sidonia, I guess that's how you say it, um, which is in Spain from what I've seen. I'm not positive on that, but they lost two ships to fire catapults by a raid of Andalusian forces, and there were only 20 ships left. So what they did was they went back to French water in 862. And Bjorn was the leader of these of this expedition, according to some people in history. <laughs> And basically what I think really supports this is that he's in France, he's in Italy, he goes to Sicily, he's in Pisa, he ends up capturing Pisa, and it's all in the Mediterranean. And I feel like this would be a perfect setting because you could incorporate all kinds of different vegetation. You'd have Spain, you'd have... Um, France, they all have, di and Italy, they all have different types of vegetation, different climates and stuff. Plus, it would kind of be like the Rome setting. It's not Rome itself, but it would be like Pisa and Sicily, and they could possibly visit Rome because history is a little iffy at that time, and basically, Bjorn is the Roman emperor, is what people say that he's the new Roman emperor and he led a large Viking raid and they ended up 
inland to the town of Luni, which they believed was Rome, but they could not breach the town walls. So that could be Rome, but what I was saying was if it's not Rome, they could still say that it's Rome because the history then is really iffy, and there's a lot of created liberty that could be used. Sorry, my mouth kind of is not in a good state today, but I'm getting my words mixed up. Basically, since the history is a little iffy, they have the freedom to kind of play with whatever they want to, and you could be in Rome in this. I mean, there's the theory that they were in Rome because they were in the town of Luni during one of these expeditions, and basically, I think this would be perfect having Bjorn. He could be the villain, and you could be somebody from Italy, and you could have to try to fight him off. Or you could be a Viking who is with Bjorn. I think this will be perfect. There's some theories that the game will be the new generation console game. And then they would have a Rome game that would be on the old consoles. Kind of like Rogue and Unity. Except this one would be Legion and Kingdom. Which Legion is like the Rome game. Is what everybody's calling it. But I honestly feel like... This game is going to end up incorporating some Italy and possibly Rome. I don't think they would really create the two games like that to where they have the old generation and the new generation game. I don't think they would waste the resources on that considering Rogue was kind of underplayed and underappreciated definitely. But I mean... It's whatever they decide to do. I think they could come out with both of those games. But this is personally what I think. Because it involves Vikings. It involves a famous Viking. And it involves Italy and possibly even Rome. And they have the creative liberty to do whatever they wanted. So, with that said, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.